When Luca was turning five years old, we were getting ready to throw him a birthday party and we were also packing up all of our belongings to ship them to Hawaii. So I asked him if we could have all of our friends and family bring gift cards or cash and then he could buy new toys when we get to Hawaii because as it was we were going to have to give about half of his toys to kids that didn't have any. And he looked at me and he popped his little hands up on his hips and he says mama why don't we get new toys for the kids that don't have any. <laughs> I agreed to do it I put it together with the House of Hope, and I was so, so proud of my little boy who came up with this idea all on his own. When we delivered the gifts, we thought that we were just dropping them off. But the women at the House of Hope invited us in, and they gathered every child that we had presents for and all of their parents. And a part of me changed. And in Luca, a love of service was born. That was only his first toy drive. A week before Luca died, he was nagging me in front of my boyfriend about making spaghetti for the homeless. It was something we often did, um, but I had missed a little while, so he, he knew how to guilt me the best. <laughs> Luca consistently found ways to be of service in the community, no matter what it was. There wasn't a door unopened with that boy around for anyone. He really was the human we should all strive to be. Hey man, did you like some food? Here you go. Have a good one. This beautiful boy yep. inspired me to want to be a better human every single day of his short life. I wanted to be like Luca when I grew up. When the COVID-19 lockdown started and schools closed down and went to distance learning, it really affected Luca. He turned to social media and gaming as a means to have any sort of social life at all. Online, he began to create this tough guy persona the guy that would try anything and was always down for new experiences. That's where he met the dealer that changed all of our lives forever. The day Luca died, he was supposed to be getting ready to go back to school the next morning. With the quarantine and school shutdown, it had been almost six months since he had been in that environment. Luca texted friends that he was going to try this Percocet and he recorded himself snorting it and sent it to them. That was the last anyone saw of Luca alive. This beautiful little boy was taken from me, from all of us, because a dealer he met online sold him fentanyl. Luca made a mistake that will haunt me for the rest of my life, but there doesn't need to be so much collateral damage. Please know that one pill, one time, can kill you. Most fentanyl victims don't even know that fentanyl is in the substance they're taking. Monitor your kids' social media and talk to your children about drugs and the dangers of fentanyl poisoning.